Some people say that I look like Russell Crowe, and that's okay, because I love the movie Gladiator. That opening scene when his hand is surfing the top of the grass, he sees a sparrow, and he smells the dirt. Yeah, I do that all the time in my backyard. G'day, I'm Mar Marcus from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I'm gonna give you my five top tips on how to grow a ton of lemongrass. Let's get into it. Unlike ornamental grasses, such as this purple fountain, lemongrass has a lot more uses besides just looking at it. The health benefits of lemongrass have been documented as far back as the Roman Empire and is widely known to relieve insomnia, aid ingestion, reduce blood pressure and anxiety, to even weight loss, especially if that's all you ate or drank because it makes an excellent tea. Mmm. And just growing lemongrass in the garden is said to even help repel mosquitoes. So that alone is a good reason to plant some, if it really worked. And no, it doesn't. But don't let that deter you, because honestly, lemongrass is much more exciting than it sounds. We mainly grow lemongrass to flavour our food and give that unique essence, lifting the taste of those Asian or other dishes such as curries and soups to that next level. Tip number one, position. Lemongrass grows like, well, grass. It likes as much light as possible, but lemongrass will grow fine if it doesn't get the full sun all day. Just make sure you don't plant it in boggy ground because it doesn't like wet feet. Lemongrass outcompetes other grasses due to its size and fast growth. So it can be planted as a weed or native grass suppressant. I'm growing lemongrass down our fence line, as you can see, and it serves six very important functions. Firstly, it's one of our main sources of food. Secondly, it suppresses weeds and other native grasses that would otherwise grow up through our fence. Thirdly, growing it here means our lemongrass is not taking up valuable vegetable garden space that could be used for other crops. Fourth, we can grow so much this way that harvesting it regularly won't deplete our stock Five, in the winter, it can be cut back and used as a valuable nitrogen-rich seed-free mulch in the garden or under fruit trees, just like lucerne can. And six, it looks good and it's great for creating borders in the garden. Tip number two, climate. Lemongrass is typically a subtropical plant. But you can also grow it quite successfully in colder climates if you grow it in containers and protect it from the cold, such as bringing it inside or into a hothouse during the colder months of the year. Even here in our warm subtropical climate, lemongrass will stop growing and go into hibernation through our mild winter and then bounce back strongly when the weather warms up in spring. As I said, winter is a good time to give it a cut back and this will stimulate new growth and give it a good start when the new season begins in spring. Tip number three, dividing. All our lemongrass, the whole lot of it, was grown from just one small potted plant that we got from our local nursery. And just like in the movie Gladiator, when they divided their force to mount an effective attack on the opposition, dividing lemongrass is also the best way to grow it in my opinion anyway. It's another mosquito. But seed is also a good way to grow lemongrass. Find lemongrass seed online and propagate it, especially if you can't source it fresh. Start seed as you would most crops by sowing in a tray with a seed raising mix during spring and it should sprout easy enough. Having said that, I do believe that dividing is easier than seed and it matures faster also. If you can't get a plant from a nursery or pull up a stalk from someone you know, 
then you can try growing some lemongrass from fresh stalks purchased at the supermarket herb area. Just pop the stalk in water and wait for some roots to develop, then plant it out. What I do is I find a clump that needs some thinning out and I simply pull out a few of the outer stalks. Then I'll give these stalks a trim back by about half at least to reduce water loss through the leaves as the new plant is establishing and plant them out about a foot or 30 to 40 centimeters apart. Water in well and don't let them dry out until the plants are growing new leaves and are obviously established. Last point about dividing. If you are growing lemongrass in a container, make sure that you either harvest it regularly or you divide it after the season and maybe plant it into another pot or use it up. Otherwise, lemongrass will expand pretty rapidly, outgrow the pot, and then it'll start to suffer and degrade. Tip number four, watering. Lemongrass will tolerate dry, crappy soils. There's no doubt about it, but it will do best in fertile, free draining soil that has regular water. The stalks will be juicier and less fibrous too if the plants are watered well throughout the growing season. Also, I rarely fertilize our plants. I can't recall the last time I did. But if your soil is poor, then giving it some organic fertilizer high in nitrogen once a season will help pick up the growth. In winter or in containers, try not to overwater as this might rot the roots, especially if it's dormant and no longer requiring much moisture. One other thing about watering, try and water at the base of the plants because overhead watering can cause some leaf problems. Which brings me on to tip number five pests and disease. Look, lemongrass is really quite hardy and it isn't bothered by many pests at all. But it is commonly affected by rust and you could control this by using a fungicide. There are organic fungicide solutions on the market and you can also make your own baking soda based spray. However, I have found the best way is cutting back and letting the plant rejuvenate naturally. Personally, we don't worry about a little bit of rust on the leaves. It doesn't seem to affect growth much, especially if it's not the total plant affected by rust, if it's just a few leaves here and there. Yes, it might look a little bit unsightly, but that's about the only issue. It doesn't affect food quality either. And that's it. Those were my five top tips on how to grow a ton of lemongrass. Position, climate, dividing, watering, pests and disease. Do all those things right and you'll grow a ton of lemongrass just like I can. And remember, what we do in life echoes in eternity. And I'll see you, not in Elysium, but in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. I'm Gluteus Maximus Lemongrassius. <laughs>